Hey everyone, Zach, Nelson Cards and Collectibles. Um, like I said in my last video, I actually got two of these boxes. So I did a video opening an Ole Miss Collegiate Collections box, I guess you could call it. Um, Panini 2016. Um, really cool box. We got some really cool hits out of it. We got a jersey piece of Laquan Treadwell, which was game worn. Um, we got a numbered Archie Manning card, which I'm going to look that up. Probably got some value to that. And we also got an honors card of Eli Manning, which Eli Manning, Hall of Famer, Peyton's little brother, beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl. Like, not many people can say that. Actually, nobody. So, <laughs> I figured since that video, we got a lot of good hits out of that box Hoping that video does well. So the other box that I picked up that night at the store was the same box or same set style, I guess you could call it. But this one is a Michigan State Spartans one. So now that we have an idea of kind of what to expect out of these, I'm hoping we get some really good cards out of this one because there's a lot of alumni from Michigan State that went on to be Hall of Famers or borderline Hall of Famers that went on to win championships in their leagues. Um, plus, Michigan State is a really cool school. They've got a lot of history. So I figured, you know what? These are pretty cool boxes from what I saw in the first one I ever opened, which is my previous video. Check it out if you didn't see it. I think it was a really, really, really cool box. A lot of good pulls really really cool card designs um so yeah let's open a michigan state one let's see what's in here now this box on the side of it is denzel valentine so i'm gonna expect that we're probably gonna see a card or two of him but i think first of all michigan state's a big football school but even bigger basketball school I think we might come across some some pretty good basketball players. The one I'm kind of hoping we get something crazy of, like maybe an autograph or a jersey piece or even a numbered card like we got of Archie from the last one. Person I'm hoping we get, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. As a matter of fact, let's look up. Let's do this a little different than the last one. Let's look up Michigan State alumni. Just so we have kind of an idea of who could be in here. I didn't do this last time and kind of wish I would have now because this might be a good idea to kind of give you a, give you a, an idea of who we're looking for here. So obviously Magic Johnson, Draymond Green. Now, now granted these boxes are from 2016 so Draymond should be in here. Draymond would be in there. Um, Kurt Gibson, Kurt Gibson got, oops, go back, go back. Um, Morton Anderson, Morton Anderson, Andre Reeson, Morris Peterson, Musin Muhammad, Scott Skiles, um, Miles Bridges, but he might be, 2016, Miles Bridges might not be in that box. I know Jaron Jackson won't be. Jaron Jackson Jr. Um, Nick Foles. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins might be in there. That's a good one. Denzel Valentine. Maybe Gary Harris. Le'Veon Bell. Um, Ryan Miller. Hockey player. He's a goalie. So let's check this out. Let's see what we get in here. Now, now, now I'm all excited. Really hope we get some cool magic. That would be awesome. Everybody knows who Magic is. Even if you're not, even if you're not a basketball fan, you know who Magic Johnson is. So that would be a really cool pull. Let's get right into it because now I am excited. I hope you guys are excited. So just like last time, 80 cards, eight in a pack, ten packs. Cool design. Cool design on the packs. These are cool sets. I'm hoping I find some more of these of different colleges. That would be really cool to do a lot of them. I really would like to find a Miami Hurricanes one. That's definitely my my favorite football school. Then Syracuse for basketball. 
But Duke would be an awesome one. Duke, Texas, University of Texas. That'd be cool. All right, let's get right into it. First card, Keyshawn Martin. Keyshawn Martin played from 2008 to 2011. Next is Alan Anderson, basketball. I feel like we're going to find a lot of basketball in here. Like I said, these guys are big name basketball school. 2001 to 2005 for Alan Anderson. This one I actually forgot about. I can't believe I forgot he went there. Zach Randolph. Zach Randolph, exciting player. 2000 to 2001, he wasn't there very long. All right, this one is a founded in 1858. And this one, founded as the Agricultural College of the State of Michigan in 1855. Oops, did I say 1855 or 1858? Oh, well, 1855. The Pioneer Land Grant University opened its doors to 63 students taught by five faculty members in 1857. The institution has endured five name changes through the years before settling on the title of Michigan State University in 1964. All right, next is DeAnthony Arnett. DeAnthony Arnett played from 2012 to 2015. Next is, he had a really good career there, Connor Cook. Connor Cook, 2012 to 2015. This guy was a good receiver. Aaron Burbridge. Gosh, I can't believe I forgot all these guys. Aaron Burbridge, 2012 to 2015. Next is the baseball stadium. Drayton McLean Baseball Stadium at John H. Cobbs Field in East Lansing, Michigan. That is a cool card. I like those field cards. Especially if you've never been there, which I haven't. It's kind of cool to get a view of what the stadiums look like, you know? These are these are cool cards. I like these sets. Like I said, I hope we find more of them because these are pretty fun to open. Especially if you find a, a college that you really like, you know? That, that would be really cool to open. All right. Next is Keith Appling. Keith Appling was there from 2010 to 2014. Next is William Golson. He was a really good defensive end. William Golson. He played in the league for quite a while. 2010, 2012. He's probably still in the league. Deonta Davis. I thought he was more recent. 2015, 2016. Okay. So he, he was fairly recent. Brandon Dawson. Again, like I said, a lot of basketball players. This is a big basketball school. 2011 to 2015. Here is the fight song card. Fight song. Very cool card. Next is East Lansing, Michigan. That is the city that Michigan State University is in. Here's an old school one. Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson. He played there from... 1975 to 1978. And then Jarrell Worthy. This guy was 2009 to 2011. Jarrell Worthy. All right, next pack. These are a little tough to open. Gotta be careful so you don't bend the corners. So. All right, what do we got in here? We have, nice. I was hoping we would get one of these. Draymond Green. Draymond Green is kind of a, kind of a, a villain in the NBA, but definitely a good player. Definitely, to, in my opinion, I think he was the glue that kind of held that Golden State team together through those couple of years when they were winning NBA championships and really good player. He's the kind of guy that can go out and get a triple-double and not score 10 points, which is kind of weird. Like, most people, you know, they at least get 10 points and then they get double digits in some other statistic. 
he can do it. You know, 15 rebounds, 12 assists, and 11 steals. It's like, wow, that's pretty crazy. You know, and it'll score score four points. Like, pretty pretty cool. All right, back to the cards. Next is Trey Wayne's. Now he is he was a really good cornerback, and he I believe is still a Viking, but he he's had a pretty good career in the NFL, 2012 to 2014. Next is Curtis Drummond. Curtis Drummond played from 2011 to 2014. Next, Shaquille Calhoun. No, that's wrong. Shalik Calhoun. My bad. Shalik Calhoun. Now, I remember watching him play. He he was a really good player. 2012, 2015. He was a defensive end, and he was he was a really good player. Kind of slid into the middle, played tackle, slide out, play end. Really good player. Next is Jack Conklin. Uh, he has been one of the best offensive linemen in the league for quite a while now. 2013 to 2015 for Jack Conklin. Next is Drew Stanton. Good quarterback there. He played from 03 to 06. Here is another older one. Really good player though. Andre Reeson. I didn't know he went to Michigan State. That's pretty cool. He's a really good player. 1985 to 88. And then Darkeez Denard. I do remember him playing there. 2010 to 2013. All right, another pack. I'm wondering if we're going to get a hockey one. If we do, it'll probably be Ryan Miller. But I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Just have to be patient and see what we open. All right. Next pack has Kellen Davis. He played from 2004 to 2007. Tony Lippett, or Lippett. I think it's Lippett. He was 2011 to 2014. Oh, wow, this is cool. Let me find that card that we pulled earlier of him right there. So Kurt Gibson, I did not realize this. He must have been a dual sport player when he went there because here is, let me grab that. This is the one we pulled earlier, which was a football one. But this one is Kurt Gibson for baseball. Now that's pretty interesting. I did not know that. So Kurt Gibson, football and baseball. Awesome. Next is an honors card, which we got one of these in the old Miss Pack too, so that's cool. Honors, Big Ten Receiver of the Year in 2015, Aaron Burbridge. That one's got that gold lining to it, so that's a pretty cool card. Let's set that one to the side. That's going in the sleeve. Next is Brian Hoyer. Brian Hoyer, the backup quarterback, he's a pretty reliable guy. He'll come in and definitely keep your team in a game. He's done it for a lot of years in the NFL now. As a matter of fact, when did he play? 2005 to 2008. So yeah, he's been around for a while. Next is a traditions card. It's a cool card. A dog jumping over a guy. I wonder what this tradition is. He's catching a frisbee. It says... When it comes to entertaining the masses at Spartan Stadium, no act is sure to put the crowd on its feet fast than Zeke the Wonder Dog. A Michigan State tradition since 1977, the Frisbee catching canine in its third generation in 2016 is a must-see attraction at MSU football halftimes. Hmm, that is pretty cool. Next is the basketball stadium. A lot of big games have been played here. This is Jack Breslin Student Events Center. That is where they play their basketball games. And next is the football stadium, Spartan Stadium. A lot of big football games have been played there as well. Like I said, Michigan State is a very historic school. They've won a lot of games, a lot of big games. Um... Don't quote me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they've won several championships. I know they have in basketball. Football, I'm not positive on. 
but I know they've always been one of the top teams in the Big Ten. So I would not be surprised if they had won at least a couple national championships. I just can't think of one off the top of my head. But this is a good poll here. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins played there from 2008 to 2011. Next is Robin Roberts. Robin Roberts. He played from 1946 to 47. Let's read this one. Recruited to play basketball at Michigan State, Roberts decided to offer his services to the baseball team. Because the squad needed pitchers, Roberts towed the rubber and the rest was history. After starring for the Spartans, Roberts made his way to the big leagues where he tallied 286 wins in a Hall of Fame career. Wow. Robin Roberts. That's a good one. Next, Draymond Green. Look at those nice, clean white jerseys. Nothing special about them, but they sure look good. Cool jerseys. Michigan State. I've always liked Michigan State. Draymond was there from 2008 to 2012. Now here we go. That's a good one. Oh, Magic Johnson. Irvin Magic Johnson. I better read this one. He played from 1977 to 1979. A transcendent talent on the court, Johnson was truly magical during his two seasons with the Spartans. Born and raised in Lansing, Michigan... Magic helped bring the school its first national title by defending Larry Bird or defeating Larry Bird's Indiana State in the 1979 championship game, one of the most watched college basketball games in history. Wow, that is cool. You know what? Let's put that one over here with that Robin Roberts. So as you're seeing here, a lot of a lot of history at this school. A lot of history. And next, these are always cool. Sparty. Sparty the mascot. This one is Jenison Fieldhouse. Looks like that is a basketball court, but it must also be their track and field home. Cool picture. Cool card. Next, we got the logo. The old Spartan logo. And then another founded 1855 card. All right. So let's get into this one. Next pack. I would say we've already pulled some pretty good cards out of here. I'm happy with it. And when you're only halfway through and you've already pulled enough good cards, that's never a bad sign. Never a bad sign. Next, Gary Harris. He was a really good basketball player there. And he's been a, a pretty uh, serviceable guy in the NBA. Next is Draymond Green. Let's look. When, when did Gary Harris play there? 2012 to 2014. Yeah, he was a, he was a really good player. That said, Draymond Green there. He was 2008 to 2012. Here we go. Denzel Valentine. He was really good. He played really good there, 2012 to 2016. Here we got another logo card. Those are cool. A Keith Humphrey card. That was 2011 to 2014. This guy was a good running back there, actually a really good running back. Jeremy Langford. Jeremy Langford was there from 2011 to 2014. Now, this is a cool one. Scott Skiles. I did not know he played for Michigan State. That is awesome. 1982 to 1986. He's going over here. And then Jack Allen. This one was 2012 to 2015. Jack Allen. It's kind of a cool card. He's obviously an offensive lineman. Look at his number. He's got the ball and he's running. That's been a fumble recovery. Not very often those guys get to touch the ball. It's kind of a kind of a cool card. You don't see the, you don't see an offensive lineman card where he's actually like running the ball very often. So that's pretty cool. All right, next pack, Adrian Payne. 
he played really well for the Spartans, 2010 to 2014. Next is Trenton Robertson. Trenton Robinson, sorry. Trenton Robinson. 2008 to 2011. Taewon Jones. He was a running back, I believe. A running back? I think so. No, safety. My bad. 2011 to 2014. Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell was there from 2010 to 2012. And then went on to be one of the best running backs in the NFL. Short-lived. But he definitely was one of the best. Very patient runner. He would just like stand and just wait for a hole to open. It was it was he he was fun to watch. I, I liked him. Uh, let's see if he makes a comeback because he's still fairly young. He could he could play a couple more years. All right, next is Dion Sims. He was there from 2009 to 2012. Then DeAnthony Arnett. That one was 2012 to 2015. Connor Cook. 2012 to 2015. And Aaron Burbridge. He was a good receiver. 2012 to 2015. They all played together. All right, next pack. Let's see what's in this one. After this, we have two more, it looks like. Two more packs. All right, we got Keyshawn Martin. Keyshawn Martin. That was 2008 to 2011. Alan Anderson. 2001 to 2005. Zach Randolph. Cannot believe I forgot he went there. Mad at myself. <laughs> 2000 to 2001. Keith Appling. He was 2010 to 2014. Here's another Drayton McLean Baseball Stadium at John H. Cobbs Field. That is the baseball field. And then we got another fight song. This looks like a pack of all doubles so far. And we're going to continue. East Lansing, Michigan. Another double. Doubles are never a bad thing. I like doubles. That way you can sell one, make some money off it, and you still have one. Kurt Gibson. Cool card. Kurt Gibson. Let's put that over here. I don't know if we put the other ones over here, but we should have. No, we didn't. We should have. All right. Two more packs. I think. Yeah, two more. So, no numbered card yet. Let's see if we get one in this pack. We got an honors card, so I'm hoping we get a jersey or an autograph and a numbered card. That would be awesome. That'd be a good way to finish it. All right, this one is William Golson, 2010 to 2012. Next is Deonta Davis, 2015 to 2016. Brandon Dawson. 2011 to 2005, Draymond Green, this time in the green jersey, 2008 to 2012, Jarrell Worthy, he played from 2009 to 2011, Jack Conklin, 2013 to 2015, Drew Stanton. That was 2003 to 2006. And then another Andre Reeson card. Andre Reeson. 1985 to 1988. And he was a three-sport star for Michigan State. He lettered in track and field, basketball, and football. It's pretty interesting. Very, very talented player. And he played in the NFL. And he had a really good career in the NFL. All right, last pack. So, since we didn't get a numbered one in there, maybe, just maybe, maybe we'll get an autograph. 
Because last time we opened a box like this, we got an honors, which we got one of those. We got a numbered card. And we got a jersey piece. So maybe we'll get an autograph. We're going to find out. Matter of fact, we're going to go like this. So we got Trey Wayans. 2012 to 2014, Shalik Calhoun, 2012 to 2015, Curtis Drummond, he was 2011 to 2014, Darkeez Denard, he was a good player there, 2010 to 2013, Brian Hoyer, the backup, good player, 2005 to 2008. People think that's an insult, but it's not. He was he was a very good backup in the NFL and still is. Got another traditions. It is a dog jumping over the guy, catching a frisbee. Cool card. And then Jack Breslin Student Event Center. This is the basketball court. That is the basketball court. And so last but not least, we got a Jeremy Langford uh, or a jersey piece. Jeremy Langford jersey piece. Cool card. And this one says the enclosed player worn material is guaranteed by Panini America. So he did actually wear that jersey piece. That is cool. Jersey pieces are awesome. They're really cool. Especially when you get one that they actually wore. That just makes it that much better. This one says, in his final two seasons at Michigan State, Langford left Big Ten opponents shaking their heads. As a junior in 2013, he led the conference in rushing touchdowns with 18, but decided to one-up that performance the following season. He scored 22 times in 2014 and concluded his career with 40 touchdowns. That's second in program history. Awesome card. Awesome box, awesome card. Very happy with it. That was a that was a cool box. Really cool box. So there you go. That's the Michigan State one. Um, obviously, you're not going to get the same cards if you were to buy a box, but kind of just gives you an idea of what's in these boxes, what to expect, what to look for. Um, really cool cards. I really like them. I like, I like to read the back of them and learn the history, um, you know, the little fun facts, like, like the Frisbee dog, you know, that, that's cool. I didn't know, I didn't know that. So really cool. And then, and then you also learn like some players that went there. Like I didn't know Kurt Gibson went there. I also didn't know he played two sports there. That's pretty cool. I mean, not many people get to do that, especially at the college level. That's, that's not easy to do. So, so, well, Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you thought of the box. Um, tell me what you guys want to see me open. Tell me, give me tips. Give me things that you want, want to see me do, what you want to see me stop doing. Um, comment. Let me know your favorite card. Let me know, you know, what, what was the most exciting one? What was the, the coolest looking one? What was your favorite player? Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good night.